Hello beautiful internet strangers and real life friends who have watched me. After you haven't watched me, I've been isolating. My voice is completely gone right now, but I'm going to still make another video. <coughs> this is, as you can tell by the title, an October favorites video, but it's not a typical October favorites video. See, I have a lot of problems, period. But right now, in particular, I have a lot of problems with my body. And I was inspired to do this by my dentist, who, um, who said, and I'm paraphrasing, but she said, um, you have a lot of problems with your body, like your, your eyes and your teeth and everything and you just throw money at it and I'm like yeah that's that's a summation of my life really but um in honor of her brilliant summary of my life I'm going to be showing you products that I have been using this October fun fact I coughed or am coughing for more than a month now and um it's been really fun so the first product is going to be for the cough and the the weird mucus thing in my trachea bronchioles whatever i don't remember anything from biology but <coughs> oh not that one so we got two we got novo salbutamol hfa which is this one Actually, it's my private information on that. Probably shouldn't. Ooh. I don't think you saw any of that. Okay, I'm gonna be careful and only show this stuff. And then the Flovent HFA, which is Fluticaso Propionate Inhalation Aerosol, which is that. Um, so, this one, the orange one, has a steroids in it. That is what it looks like. I don't know how to do unboxings or like favorite videos or whatever. And this one is just the normal one that's supposed to like open up your airways. Right, this is blue. This one is orange. And um, yeah, this one take two weeks. This one take one. Don't take my medication because that's a terrible idea, but uh, that's what I've been doing. Next, we have nose. Let's go from the bottom up. So, nose, we have this. This beautiful, beautiful meal med thing. Oh, and this video is not a spot. I wonder if I'm going to get sued. Um, so, we got this meal med thing, and then... We also got these sinus, 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 sinus rinse packets. Um, I don't know, like, what is really in there. It's basically just salt and sodium bicarbonate. And it's supposed to make, like, the mucus come out. And it has. It's been working fairly well. Um... So, I'm pretty pleased with this product. It's not pleasant to use, but um, would recommend because if you have nasal like congestion or whatever, that one is, it's been helpful to me. Um, and then after I clear out my nasal passages, uh, after I clear out my nasal passages, um, my doctor told me to use this thing. This is a fun little contraption. So, um, how you use this is you stick it up your nose. This is going to be kind of weird, but I figured I have already fallen down this rabbit hole. So, stick it up your nose and then tilt it out. So, um, you squeeze this and then you breathe in and exhale through your mouth. Um... Yeah, that's not too bad. This is probably one of the uh, least painful 
one so that's the name again please don't buy these products if it's not prescribed to you except for the neil med i think that's over the counter but like um this is just like let me show you all the medication i'm on this is a terrible video idea why did i choose to do this um but moving up from the nose we got our ears what am i sitting on oh yeah it's the box we got our ears and this is okay so uh for most of my life i've had these terrible uh earwax blockage in my ears because my ear canals are too thin so they're like too small and then the earwax accumulates faster than normal and it's normal to have earwax in your ears you know it protects your eardrums but um when you can't hear because it muffles the sound and when it's like physically painful that's not fun at all so um i was recommended this by the ear specialist let me just cap that on oh shit oh no it's spraying okay did not expect that um okay let's just wait <laughs> this is a mess of a video um as are all of my videos so at least i'm on brand so we got this thing but before you put this in your ear you gotta is it wet oh no they cut i'm doing this on my bed that's not the smartest idea but we got um this little and then uh yeah this thing it's over the counter you can buy it if you need it if you also have tiny ass eardrums eardrums tiny ass ear canals like me um clears out your earwax you put 10 drops of this um you wait for 10 minutes then you spray this for 10 seconds it drains out and this you put it in your ear this um yeah don't take medical advice from me i should have prefaced with that i just i just want you guys to know that i'm not a doctor or a pharmacist or anyone knowledgeable to be giving you like medical advice but this is just a terrible idea how many times have i said that in this video someone should make a compliment i should make a compilation that will be my next video <laughs> um yeah so it's fucking painful like it's not fun at least for me i don't know for other people but it's not fun to have that in your ear um like bubbling for 10 minutes and I would not recommend it if you don't have these like earwax blockages because it hurts and I am a wimp and I hate pain and there's just like ooh okay sorry I gotta wipe this but um there's just like a certain amount of weird earwax that I can tolerate, tolerate, I can only tolerate, I thought, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, okay, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna put this back in Nora for a few months, because you shouldn't be using it very often, it says a couple times a week, one to two times a week, don't do that, not, no, mm. And then, moving up from our ears, we got our eyes. Why, why did I just do that? Our eyes. And I have been wearing um, nighttime contacts so that like press your cornea or... I don't know how... Yeah, it presses your cornea and it molds it. And in the day, you can see without glasses or contacts. And it's convenient because um, contacts dry out easily and glasses are just if you need to like yeah you know all the glasses problems so we got firstly my contacts are in this little thing and uh i can't really take them out but if you can see it, it's kind of here it's kind of uh 
lighter screen on that one to so that's the left one and this one's kind of gray not sure if you can see it clearly but this is the new um version of cleaning you you used to have to like scrub it yourself but now you put it in this container and you leave it for six to seven hours or more and um it just cleans it for you which is convenient because i'm lazy and we got this is the solution that goes in that and then we also got um an empty case so this is what it looks like you put your container container you put your contacts in here in here you close it up you put it in here um you put the solution in first obviously and then it goes up to this line and you screw it up and then you got like clean well not yet after six to seven or more hours you would have clean contacts and you can take it out and wear them flush them out if you need like wash it with water but i usually don't because again i'm lazy um and then before i go to before i go to sleep i use this which is um yeah this is over the counter because it's just eye drops so it's that and it's um re-wetting drops which basically make sure your eyes don't become really fucking dry and uh, that has been my october favorites now some of those favorites have been like ongoing <laughs> You know, this was a better bit in my head, but, um, yeah, so hopefully my November favorites will be different, and hopefully there will be less medical products. <laughs> oh, I want to die. <sighs> Anyways, um, all of this is covered by Canadian Health Insurance, um, and also university oh hip stuff that yeah so it's great it hasn't cost me you know thousands of dollars which i'm grateful for but also like i'm tired of being sick like i i want it and it's just not fun and i haven't been like chronically ill for most of my life i've just like this month and I don't I can't imagine what it's like to be chronically ill so I really feel for everyone who's been struggling with a chronic illness um and you know this has been a thing that happened to me um might be allergies probably is allergies but like oh god like Mm, would not recommend 10 out of 10 would not go again so that has been october favorites um i hope you guys have a good halloween that's not like a holiday you say that for but i will say that anyway have a really spoopy halloween did i just say spoopy I meant to say spooky but i guess spoopy works um and I will see you hopefully later this year. Not sick, we hope. We really, really hope. Alright?